Hi, I'm Brian Lesperance. I'm joined here by our winemaker, Matthew Jeanette, and we're gonna walk through an exciting new product that we're gonna release here this uh, spring. Mm -hmm. um, we're out in our vineyards where we're starting to see the buds break a little bit, so there's a sign of life here in the vineyards, and I think this new wine that Matt concocted is gonna be a really excellent choice for the coming warmer, warmer weeks and months. So Matt, why don't you tell us what we got? All right, yeah, so our uh, new product that we are launching kind of this weekend is our Red Paquette. Uh, Paquette is kind of, it's a misnomer to call it a wine, I would say. I would call it more of a, a wine spritzer type of thing. Uh, it's, it's something where we're not just taking wine and adding flavorings to and, and giving some, some bubbles. What we're actually doing is a pretty quote-unquote ancient technique uh, to make this product where we're actually um, using grape skins from our rosé pressings, um, coming back, adding water um, to kind of rehydrate the skins, letting that soak for a couple days, and then repressing that off, pulling off all the remaining sugars and acids that are in those skins, the color and the flavor they're looking for. Um, we're fermenting that from there and getting a low alcohol product. This product comes in about 5% alcohol, and um, you know it tastes really good. Lots of bold, strong, you know, cherry and raspberry flavors to it. Um, we've given, we've gone ahead and carbonated and actually canned it, as you can see here. Um, and it's released in three, uh, 375 milliliter cans. Um, it's carbonated. It's great for ice, ice cold on the porch. You know, floating down the river come summertime, and you know, perfect for the holiday weekend. So it's a really kind of a natural version of a of a spritzer or seltzer style of product, Correct. right? Correct. Yeah. So it's uh, if you're looking for a straight up wine, it's not gonna quite get there, but yeah, it's very fun, fruity, um, very I guess sort of a natural in terms of winemaking. Something we can do using you know the same fruit and same products that we already have coming in. Okay, Matt. What's the grape varietal on the Paquette? Yeah, so the, uh, the grape we're using on this is Chamberson. It's kind of a grape that we grow between us and a couple of our growers. And it's a, I guess, kind of a workhorse. It actually has a lot of color in the skin, so it kind of worked out pretty well for this product. Um, this was a pilot run this year, so we only made it about 200 gallons or so. So it's pretty low quantities, but it's delicious, and we definitely recommend you guys grab some. So Matt, talk to me a little bit about the style of Paquette. Where did it originate? Yeah, so this wine is actually a, sort of an ancient sort of technique to making what was called sort of quote unquote farmer's wine. Um, it actually goes back to about the Roman times when uh, uh, they would, you know, make their wine and go ahead and come back, add the water to the grapes, soak the skins, press it out and ferment that into a bottle. And they would actually serve this uh, to their workers uh, for lunch because uh, it's low alcohol. So, you know, they wouldn't get inebriated by consuming, you know, a bottle or two of it at lunch. And then uh, they would, uh, yeah, pretty much just enjoy that and give it to their to the workers. So that's kind of the story behind Paquette and kind of the technique that we're looking to do in the future. Awesome, thanks, Matt. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna have this available on our website <laughs> as well as in our tasting room uh, for sale as long as it lasts. Like Matt <laughs> said, it's not a big product, so come out and get it as soon as you can. Thanks. Mm -hmm.